Hey everybody and welcome to another Headway video. Today we're going to be talking about uh, how to use Loop Buddy with Headway 3.0. Uh, so the first thing that you need to do is you need to go over and purchase Loop Buddy if you haven't already done that. Uh, if you go over to pluginbuddy.com slash purchase slash Loop Buddy, uh, you'll get to this page and you can learn more about it. Uh, we also offer a discount uh, in our forums, so be sure to check the support forums uh, and look for the Loop Buddy thread uh, that contains that discount code. Uh, once you've purchased Loop Buddy, though, uh, go ahead and go over to the menu or the the members panel and uh, find Loop Buddy in uh, your list. Uh, I I happen to have purchased the Plugin Buddy Developer Suite, so I've got uh, several different plugins from uh, Plugin Buddy here. But find the Loop Buddy one. Uh, and download that. When you've downloaded it, uh, go back over to your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins, and go to add new. And then we're just going to upload our plugin here. So we're going to choose our file. We're going to find our Loop Buddy uh, zip file. We're going to go ahead and install it. And now we're going to go ahead and activate it. Um, one thing that you might want to do is you might want to um, put your license to it so that you can get updates uh, as required um, by uh, Plugin Buddy. Uh, so go ahead and, and do that now. Um, when you're ready though, uh, check out the menu and underneath settings you'll see uh, Loop Buddy. If you're using Backup Buddy, you'll also see Backup Buddy here as well. Uh, there's two main areas uh, to Loop Buddy and we're not going to get into them right now. I'll actually create separate videos uh, for those later. Uh, but there's the query editor. And what the query editor uh, does is it creates queries uh, depending on the, the type of page or the type of content uh, that you want to show on a page. So you can create a, a query that pulls all of your posts or all of your uh, pages or if you've got custom post type uh, you know called uh, uh, users or, or something um, you could you could pull in uh, custom post types as well uh, so so it's very powerful and we'll actually go through uh, creating uh, queries uh, with loop buddy uh, a little bit later in a different video uh, the last section is the layout editor and the layout editor is really just a um, Think of it as a visual editor uh, for your layout. So you can go in and you can edit a layout and you can kind of drag in and drop uh, different tags in different uh, rows or columns and uh, kind of really get the way that your uh, content is going to lay out in the uh, content block. Uh, so, so that's really the two, pla two major places. Uh, you've got a, a settings area and kind of a getting started um, area as well to uh, to get started. So I definitely encourage you to check that out. Uh, one thing that Loop Buddy also comes with is a uh, widget, so you can check that out as well. Uh, with Headway 3.0, though, uh, if you open the Visual Editor, uh, the first thing that you'll notice is when you go to your content block on, on your page and you go to the options, uh, you're going to notice that, that the content block options have changed and instead of having a, a query uh, filter and uh, um, all that other stuff, uh, it just kind of defaults to Loop Buddy. Uh, what we've decided to do is, is just default to Loop Buddy here. Uh, so as you're going into uh, the content block, you can actually pick uh, and select which query uh, you want to use for this content block and which uh, layout you want to use. So that's uh, very powerful um, to be able to use uh, both both the query and the layout. Uh, once you've made your changes, uh, you just click Save and you can view your, view your site and uh, it's going to take those changes uh, based on the layout editor and the query editor. So uh, check back uh, for some videos on creating a query and creating a layout. 